Hi guys, yeah, it's Chris Julia, 2019 European and National Craftlon Champion in my age group. And today's video, I'm going to talk about what to do um, on a triathlon race day. <laughs> To this video so I'm going to discuss triathlon race day what you should do on the day or leading up to it before you start your race so firstly obviously it starts well before the race day you know your prep um, you train your nutrition your sleep etc all that has a, a big factor into your um, your day of well your race day so just a quick tip the night before, well, the day before, don't overeat. Make sure you just eat what you normally do. Um, that, that was in a previous video of how you should eat leading up to it. Um, so, and you've done a train, just relax. Just make sure you relax. Just control what you can control. Don't panic. And you might have a bad night's sleep. I sometimes have, well, quite a few bad night's sleeps before a race. And um, I just control what I can control. As long as you've had a lot of sleep, um, and throughout the week, one um, one day, well, a few hours bad, well, a one night bad sleep won't won't make much difference. Well, we hope. Um, so you turn up to race day. Um, before race day, what what do you do? So firstly, I make a list. So I make a list of everything that I need to take the day before. Pack my kit. Um, so it's all ready and it's easy accessible as well to get to. Um, uh, so you can access it easy. Now the problem with this is um, you need to make sure that you have everything there because you don't want to forget stuff. So you don't want to go into a race and like, oh, I forgot my goggles. Oh no, like that. Sometimes you can buy stuff there, but you really want your own stuff and stuff that you practiced and trained with and even raced with before. Now the problem is, um, like what I do, when, when you turn up, um, well, when I pack stuff before I, before I turn up to race, was I normally pack two of everything because I know just in case if goggles snap I've got a spare uh, goggles um, I don't pack like two watches or two wetsuits of, of course because that's that they're, they're expensive so you wouldn't you would do that but I'm talking about like essentials like two pairs of trainers just in case uh, so thing things like that um, not like helmets um, just like two waist belts st stuff like that so I have two of everything just in case um, two of well not everything but most things just in case um, something goes wrong or if I've forgotten something, I know, know I've got that. I learned that mistake a long time ago when I forgot stuff. Now, you turn up to race day, of course, it's ner you're nervy, um, you're nervous, you, uh, you see people around you and they, can't, they chat to you and stuff and people like, also one of the mo most things that you must um, try to ignore, and this is where controlling what you can control People will chat to you and they'll say to you, oh, I don't feel great today, or I've got a bad leg, stuff stuff like that, I've been injured. Now, don't, um, not that they mean it, but it can play negative thoughts with your head. like that. Or if they've said, well, I've been trained this way, and you might be thinking, oh, I haven't trained like that, oh, am I all right? Don't, whatever you've done, you're your own person, you've trained for it, you're there on the start line, don't, don't think about it, because it will play in the back of your mind, um, so just don't like get caught up with them little little like little chatters. Just, um, obviously, people do have problems, but it's just that from what I've learned, it does play on your mind. Now you turn up to race day, and you're there, and um, you, you're nervous. So what I say is, of course, it is good to be nervous. I I'm nervous. I'm for some reason I'm more nervous at local races, but I'm still very nervous at most races. So when you um, turn up to the race just try and relax now what i found has helped me is that i put music on now i go away for about 10 15 minutes sit on my own i normally put a hood over me with my music and I, i'm sure you've seen that michael phelps uh footage when he was at the olympic games when he had that really weird looking face i can't do the impression because i'm no good at it but when he had that um like he was in concentration mode with his music and doesn't matter if anyone comes near him he will not talk to him he's psyched up and he's just relaxed 
That's what I do. So I do that I, I, for 10 minutes, I relax, uh, 10, 15 minutes of relax and listen to music and it, it um, get, not only gets me pumped up, but it gets me ready. And what I think about it, think during the music is what I plan to do in the race. I go through um, what is going, what is going to happen in the race, like what I aim to do and like through different stages like transition, um, coming out of the, um, the, uh, the water, um, onto the bike, then onto the run, and thing, things like that. So that's what I, my, I would be prepared for just before the race. Now, um, that's that. And then what I also do as well, when I go into transition, I will still listen to music and relax. And if people want to talk to me, they can talk to me, of course. So I, like, I like a chatter, and well, I like to chat. And um, that really... Um, that, that helps you relax as well. And I find as well, um, list, looking at your list to see what you've got and stuff and tick, ticked off and put it into transition. I normally walk up and down transition as well just to um, have a look at what other people have done and put in in their little zones. Um, just so, just in case I've forgotten something that I've got and I'm like, oh, okay. So that's that, how I prepare. Um, and... Um, I won't talk about what to do in transition. That'll be another video, another time. But so that that's what happens race day. So I make sure I drink plenty of um, fluids, so water. Um, so I'm re um, so I'm ready. And yes, unfortunately, I am running to the toilet quite a bit. But I know I'm high hydrated, and that's because I get really hydrated overnight, like most people will do. And um, it's important for me to be ready for race day hydrated. Um, well, in the race, fully hydrated, so um, I hydrate all the way up to the race. Uh, so I don't do anything new on race day, so everything's the same that I would do in my training. So, for example, wake up in the morning and have uh, three to four Weetabix, Weetabixes uh, in my training, um, and that's exactly what I do on race day, depending how long the, the gap is between travelling and to the race. I might have a banana an hour and a half before a race, but normally three hours before a race and that will be it. Uh, all I do is hydrate. So you you turn up to race, you relax, um, control what you can control, don't panic, and then you've got the race start. Now obviously your heart is pumping, beating away and we're on race start and it is quite nerve wracking. I just say, just walk into the start line, just have what you've prepared ready. Just think of visual, when you do that, listen to music, just visual what you're going to do in your um, in your race. So when you start, are you gonna start off fast? Are you gonna start off slow? Are you gonna um, start in the middle? Are you gonna start on, on the side of the um, triathlon or the swim part? So that, um, and just visualize what w could happen. And that, that really helps with um, easing the pressure off when it, when the race starts and of course the race starts you get pumping you forget all this and you just get straight into the race and then you finish and you're like yes i've done it so guys um i hope this is helpful this is what how i prepare during race day when i turn up the race there's not a lot to it it's just more like n more nerves and just um like just making sure you don't do anything new that's the main thing really you don't, you don't do anything new don't try and think new and as i said before right at the beginning of the video that if someone does um like say oh i did this and that um just don't let it play in your mind because that can play um that can play in your mind so i hope you found this video useful Please comment, what, what do you do? I'd like to know, what, what do you do to prepare or even psych yourself up during a triathlon race? And please like the video, and thanks for watching. And the uh, champions of the uh, this age group category, Henrietta Tarasevich, and Yanis Christodoulou.